What do you say to the opponents of free trade, people who say it exports jobs? That giant sucking sound. Any half-decent economist will tell you to wear earplugs, sir, then file immediately for unemployment. Sir, have you read the talking points? I'm an economist. Some would say half-decent. I don't need a primer on this. Due respect, sir, your answers on economic issues could be a bit... Polysyllabic? Academic. I was going to go with incomprehensible. Hey, listen. Any economic advancement involves what Schumpeter called creative destruction. Sir, yeah, sure. Why? Does that word destruction will really mollify our critics? Free trade creates jobs. Selling our products to the world creates better, higher paying jobs. It's got to be that simple or we lose the argument. Anybody have any crayons so I can color in my PhD? Josh makes a point. We're losing old economy jobs in steel and textiles all across manufacturing. In economics? Clearly. That's <laughs> why we fought so hard in this deal for copyright enforcement, to protect the fruits of the new economy. Technology, inventions, ideas, the, the stuff where America can't be beat, where they can't do it in Malaysia for a dollar a day. Okay. What about these tractor protests in the streets of Brussels? Global economic forces are unstoppable, just like technology itself. Should we have banned ATMs to protect bank tellers or digital watches to prop up the folks who fix grandfather clocks? Free trade creates, creates better, better higher-paying higher jobs. jobs. Uh, it's got to be that simple. The president bashing the clock industry in here. Thank you. But the communications unit was close to a new contract for 17,000 programmers. Chase Computer Networks broke off the talks. JCN. The union thinks JCN is moving 17,000 computer programming jobs to India, and that's why India signed on. 17,000 jobs because of the deal I just negotiated? That's what they think. Okay. Who else knows about this? No one. You don't. Leo? We may have a situation, Congress. Where were we? Creating better, higher paying jobs. In all, the union claims 17,000 white collar jobs will be shipped to India. No, Congressman. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. What are you doing out here? Donna's not talking to me. Plus, there's some soon to be unemployed workers camped out in my office. With tractors, I presume. Something like that. Think this job story is true? It's proprietary. Think it'll give the GOP an excuse to squash this trade deal? With midterms coming up, what do you think? How'd you become a free trader? America has a quarter of the world's wealth and only 2% of the customers. You have to sell to others. So how do you make that case to people who are going to lose jobs? Ask them how often they go to Walmart to buy cheap cardigans or drill bits. Drill bits? I don't wear cardigans. OK. But I like a nice drill bit. So it all comes down to cheap drill bits. Pay more for a drill bit, you have less to spend on other things. Keep out cheap foreign drill bits in that country, will keep out cheap American something else, and that costs us jobs. Do you ever wonder if we forget the human face of trade, the blood and muscle? You have to go with what grows the economy for everyone. There's blood and muscle in India, too. Yeah. Hoynes was pretty critical of free trade when you worked for him, wasn't it? Yeah, that was mostly politics. So how'd you become a free trader? I came to work for him. Did you need something? The vice president is going to distance himself from this trade deal. You did a great job. It's mostly politics. <laughs>